Hi there, M0 YKS is back on the case. Hope you're all feeling good and uh, the new year's going well. Just thought I'd call in and give you a quickie, uh, just a quick say hello for 2017. Uh, yeah, I'm just in the shack at the minute, got the family tucked up in bed. I just thought I'd play a little bit of radio. I've got the FT1000 fired up, listening to a few guys on uh, the top end of 80 metres. They're listening to a few Japanese stations. I'm not really hearing the Jap guys that well. I'm getting some Italians and a few other Europeans coming through nicely. I'll be honest, the HF bombs have been pretty uh, pretty terrible, pretty dire the past few weeks. Been listening on the night time, not hearing too much at all. I've actually got the uh, the uh, 847 fired up and I'm listening out for satellite Bravo Yankee um, 01. 701. Sorry. So I'm going to see if I can hear that one for the first time. I've tried the satellites for a while. It's uh, going to be coming down on 436, 210 megahertz thereabouts, roughly. So that's coming up shortly. Just get my frequency set on that one. So I've got a satellite array roughly in the right direction for that. Uh, I'm using some software which is actually courtesy of AMSAT. It's just on a, a web, web page. Pretty handy. You can select various satellites and uh, it says messing about running a program. I'll just give you a quickie, a close up. So that's the situation. Gives you the list of the satellites up and coming. Gives you the operating frequency. Uh, what it's coming down on, what it's going up on. The uh, CTSS tone required to open the satellite. And uh, the azimuth and elevation position. So you can set your antenna to the correct place. Quite a nice bit of software, so there we are, that's what we're looking for. Hopefully you can see that okay, that's going to be coming up pretty shortly. So I've got the radio set, and uh, we're just going to see what's going on, see if we can hear anything. I'm just going to turn the volume up. A slight bit of local QR Mexico from probably a baby monitor or something like that. Could not, could not come through a bit better if you asked. <laughs> so where are we? We're just about minus five elevation. So whilst I'm waiting for that, I'm going to just introduce you to my new uh, DX buddy, who's uh, just chilling out right now. This is this is Finn, who's uh, a little lurcher pup. So he's a bit like Dudley on a small version. So Finn's taking over, and he's going to be getting involved. He looks like he's having either a little dream right now. So I won't disturb him too much. But that's Finn. And he's uh, joined the family. So we're seeing more of Finn once he gets bigger. He's only eight weeks old at the minute, so he's just settled in. Uh, we got him from the uh, rescue centre, the uh, Greyhound Rescue Centre, which rescues greyhounds and lurchers. So there's Finn. More on Finn later. So back to the shack. Got the FT847 running. See what we can hear. Anything. Minus two elevation on this particular bird. Minus one frequency in use for three six two ten downlink. Do apologise for any wobbles on the video. Just using the phone. Okay, that's what happens when the satellite should be in range. So let's have a look. See what we can get down here. Whoops, not getting the frequency read out too easy. So it's just a case of waiting now and use the, uh, the G5500 tracking elevation azimuth antenna system, which comprises of five elements for two meters and 15 elements for 435 X beam up on the roof. So, what going on? Position two degrees. I know from experience to start receiving better signals around 10 degrees and above but you never know it is an FM sat never heard it before might not hear anything if we don't hear the actual FM transmission will go for the, the beacon, we'll check that out in a minute. Could be, looks like it's on the same frequency anyway. Looking at that.
Yes, it won't. So that's the uplink adjustment. Similar to what the readout is up there. The top reading, up, down, and beacon. So let's just flip to see the wheel. A bit of interference really. Spoiling the uh, possibilities I think. So as in this position, one, two, two. Let's move that around, that's roughly there. 122, elevation 12, bring it up a bit. Now let's see if we can hear anything. Well, I use the FM discriminator to usually centre the frequency of receive. But like I say, I'm getting some interference from a local baby monitor. With it being this type of night, it's not my own. We don't use that kind of technology at this uh, household. It's for some local. But it's right where I want to be, unfortunately. So all I can really do is wait and hope that this satellite will shift down in frequency due to the Doppler effect. And I'll catch a little bit off the QRM, if you understand that one. So there we go. 436206. And the signals. I can hear something. Apologies. Mexico Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sugar.
So, six degrees elevation. That will do. So, that's it. That was uh, reasonably successful for a first attempt of uh, listening to BY701. I think it's a Chinese satellite. I'll have to do a bit of homework. I've been off the satellites for a while, so I'll have to have a quick look into it. But yeah, it wasn't the strongest signal, but to be honest, that was just a little play. Uh, I want to take it a bit more serious. Don't want to use the camera, we'll get the antenna on the satellite a bit more accurately and obviously try to keep up with the uh, Doppler shift of the frequency but not bad for the first go, quite enjoyable uh, like I said using the uh, AMSAT uh, online page to track it, it seemed pretty accurate, reasonably accurate I'd say for the for the coordinates so there you go, M0YKS just giving you a little bit of uh, satellite fun alongside my, my new little buddy just chilling out right now as you can see feeling uh, stressed with his Chewbacca toy. Hopefully uh, he might just wake up a little bit. Say hello. Whoop. <laughs> oh yes. There you go. So, catch you another time from M0YKS in company with a new DX Hound on the block. 7.5.